Two-stage RC coupled amplifier, that is CEC. Next is CAS code amplifier, CECB, then CECC, and then CCCC. To analyze all these amplifiers, we need equivalent circuit. How to draw the equivalent circuit? To draw the equivalent circuit, we need a model. For the analysis of two-stage amplifiers, we are going to use H-parameter model. The H-parameter models are of two types. I can't say two types, uh, actually this is exact H-parameter model and approximate H-parameter model. Why you are going for approximate H-parameter model, we have already exact model. Why, what is the need of going for approximate H-parameter model? When we go for approximate model, the analysis becomes easy. The circuit complexity will be reduced. Okay, so now we will see how to find this approximate H-parameter model from exact H-parameter model. And another point is, uh, this multi-stage amplifier's main reason is to get more gain. And we know among all amplifiers, C amplifier gives more gain. That is the reason of using mostly C stage in the multi-stage amplifiers. Hence, in this class, I am explaining approximate H-parameter model of C from exact model of C. Okay? So, the thing is, yes, first let me draw the exact H-parameter model of C. Yes, the circuit consists of Yes, you know the circuit. The first one is, is as this is for CE configuration of a CE amplifier. Yes, the input terminal is base. Grounded terminal is emitter. And the collector is output. Okay, listen carefully. From the base, we need to represent the base current IV. <coughs> And this resistor is HIE. Okay. And this is the voltage source. Which is HRE VCE. Fine. And this is the current source. Which is HFE IB. And this is 1 by HOE. Where HOE is output admittance. And from this collector. We have the collector current IC like that. And across this, we have voltage VC. Okay. So now, see this. Uh, it consists of four elements. Input impedance called HIE. And the dependent voltage source in the input side. And this output side, we have two things. A current source HFEIB. And the output Resistance 1 by HOE and HOE is called output admittance. Fine. This is the exact model. What is this? This is the exact model. Fine. Then, how to obtain approximate? Here we have to go for two things. The first thing is, the first point is, listen carefully. See, what is HRE? HRE is nothing but reverse voltage gain reverse voltage gain we know uh, for the amplifier voltage gain is high so what about reverse voltage gain reverse voltage gain is less ok suppose if the voltage gain is 500 reverse voltage gain means 1 by voltage gain means 1 by 500 which is very very less when that less value gets multiplied with the output voltage VCE, okay, then what it implies? It implies 
HRE VCE is very small. HRE VCE is very small. So as HRE VCE is very small, what is HRE VCE? HRE VCE is nothing but a voltage source. Why this is voltage source? I think you know it already. HRE is reverse voltage gain. Okay, what is voltage gain? Output voltage by input voltage. Reverse voltage gain means input voltage by output voltage. Input voltage by output voltage into VCE. Two voltages get cancelled. So again I will get voltage. That is the reason this is represented by a voltage source. Then as HRE VCE is very small. Okay, means voltage is very small. We know that when voltage is very small. In ideal condition, you can represent that voltage source with a short circuit. Okay, so that is the reason I am representing this with the short circuit. Fine. This is short circuit. That is the first point. As HRE VCE is small, HRE VCE is shorted. Fine. Then the next one. What is the second point? The second point is about HOE. What is HOE? Output admittance. HOE is output admittance. We know the output admittance is very very small. In the case of uh, H parameter model, it is of 10 power minus 6 micromoles. Okay, as HOE is very small, output admittance is very small, then it implies 1 by HOE is very large. When, okay, when HOE is in terms of micromoles, automatically 1 by HOE is in terms of mega ohms. Fine. So, as 1 by HOE is in mega ohms, you can represent it with. Uh, what is HOE? Admittance. One way HOE is output impedance. When output impedance is high, you have to represent that impedance with a open circuit. Okay. So, these are the two things. Yes, I am opening it. See this, I am opening it. Fine. Okay. So, these two are the things that you have to consider. So, HRE VCE must be shorter and 1 by HOE must be opened. By following these two conditions, we got the approximate model. Now, the heading is not exact model. This is now approximate model. Okay. This is the approximate model. Okay. Now, I will redraw it. So, remember two things. Between base and emitter, we have HIE. Between collector and emitter, we have one current source which is towards emitter and from the collector. Okay. So, now I am drawing this. So, now let me draw the equivalent circuit again for CE. So, again keep adding this is for CE amplifier. Okay. The circuit is, this is base, emitter, collector, between base and emitter, we have HIE, between collector and emitter, we have HFE, IB. This is the approximate model for C amplifier. Okay. In the relevant textbook, you can find Y model. Okay. For the same circuit, they are given Y model. The Y model is simply, yes, what is this? Emitter. This is base. This is collector. Okay. The Y model is like this. Between base and emitter, we have HIE. Between collector and emitter, we have HFE, IB. Okay. And now, this is emitter and this is your Y model. This is the approximate model for CE amplifier. 
But in the multi-stage amplifiers, you're going to see CECB, CECC, CCCC like that. Then what about the approximate models, approximate spirometer models for CB and CC? Okay. So the thing is, the easiest thing is, you can draw the approximate model for CB and CC using the approximate model for C. Okay. So now I'll draw approximate model for CB. Very easy concept. Okay. Then in the CB amplifier, what is the input terminal? The input terminal is emitter. Fine. What is the ground? The ground is base. What is the output? Output is collector. First keep the points like this. For any configuration, you have to remind the two points. What are those two points? Between base and emitter, HIE. Between collector and emitter, HFE, IB. Okay. So now I am drawing. Between base and emitter, what I am getting? HIE. Okay. So, see this. What is this? HIE. Fine. And between collector and emitter, you have HFE, IB. This is collector and this is emitter. So, between collector and emitter, you have one current source called HFE, IB. Fine. That's all. Yes, this is the base. It is grounded. So, this becomes the approximate model for CB amplifier. Now, yeah. Then we'll move to the approximate model for CC amplifier. Okay. Same. Yes, what is the input terminal? The input terminal for CC is base. Okay. What is the output terminal? Emitter. What is the grounded terminal? Collector. Okay. Then, what is the first point? Between base and emitter? HIE. So, this is base and this is emitter. Yes, you have to draw the HIE like this. This is HIE. Between collector and emitter, you have HFEIB. Just you draw HFEIB like this. It is towards emitter from collector. So, the symbol is like this. HFEIB. Okay. So, now this becomes the approximate model for CC amplifier. Okay. Is what we did in the class. From the exact H parameter model of CE, we derive the approximate model. And we have redrawn this circuit as Y model. And then by using Y model, we constructed the approximate H parameter models for CB and CC. See, as the CB and CC are in terms of the parameters of CE. Say this, this is HIE, HFE. Here also HIE, HFE. The formulas of voltage gain, current gain, input impedance and output impedances of these two amplifiers are also in terms of HIE and HFE. Okay. So now in the same class, I'll give you a table which consists of AV means voltage gain, AI current gain, RI input impedance, R0 output impedance of single stage amplifiers. Okay, with that table, we can analyze two stage amplifiers in future classes. Okay, so now I'll draw the table. Yes, this is the table. Okay, so these are all already derived formulas for these approximate H parameter models for single stage. So now with the use of this table, we're going to analyze two stage amplifiers in the next classes. So I think you understand the concept. Okay, repeatedly you listen the video. Thank you very much.